All right, just a quick follow-up to my Mobius mono stereo video. Now we've got the timeline and um, this will be a lot shorter. I think the timeline, they didn't go, they didn't just make it like every delay a ping pong delay like some others do, like especially the even tides and a lot of the boss delays, digital delays. Um, it's like they just kind of did a little, I don't know, little like phase split sort of thing with the stereo field on the timeline. So it's, I, I mean, I'm kind of glad that it's not that different mono and stereo because uh, it's just easier to use it in mono because then I don't have to run stereo into what's usually my last pedal in the chain, the H9. Um, or even the Mobius, I can do pre-post and not worry like, oh, I'm not using the timeline in stereo because it's in the pre-post loop of the Mobius. Um, so like he, here's a quick example, we're on tape mode. Um, just one repeat, let's put the repeats up and time down a little bit. Bring that up. I don't know if there's a global option that I'm missing, but I can't see it anywhere to change how it pans. The modulation on the digital gets the most intense, so maybe that will be more obvious. Okay, that's pretty cool. A lot of difference there. Let me know what you think of that one. Um, seems like with delays. So like, I think in conclusion, when there's like a chorusy modulation on the delay, it makes a big difference in the stereo field. Um, so you especially notice that in digital mode and the reverse. Um, I think it has a similar modulation style. Um, 
And so that and then the, like the rotary algorithm on the Mobius seem to be most important to retain the stereo spread. Uh, let me know what you think.